Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Harry Barr of New Age Metals. Harry, how are you? Good, and yourself, Tracy? Harry, it's wonderful to see you, and I love the new company name, New Age Metals. Can you tell us what was the incentive to change the name? Well, we have two divisions, Tracy, um, and they're both green energy metals, so um, we thought New Age Metals would better describe what we're doing. One of them is platinum group metals and the other is lithium. And of course, what I'd love to just share with our audience is uh, Christopher Ecclestone called me recently and said, well, who is this New Age Metals and uh, why didn't you tell me about it? Well, we have been following you and let's talk about PGMs first, can we? Well, uh, we're lucky. We have the largest undeveloped deposit of its kind in platinum group metals in Canada. Uh, uh, fifth, 43101, we have two and a half million ounces and uh, a new discovery in the northern portion of the property, so we're quite excited about it. I was reading a story about you called The New Age Dawn of Palladium, okay? And uh, they were talking about how platinum's back on a tear. Harry, is this correct? And can you tell me how New Age Metals are going, planning on capitalizing on this? Well, our project is primarily a PGM project and, and with palladium first. So we're palladium first, platinum second, gold, and we have some other metals. Uh, palladium has done very well. I think it's one of the best performing precious metals this year and it's in the high 700 range. Uh, platinum is just over $1,000. So metals that are needed for auto catalysts, uh, for the car industry and uh, green metals. So uh, um, everything I've read and everything the analysts are saying uh, is a tremendous demand going forward and, and probably a limited supply. But your competitive advantage for New Age Metals with your PGMs is? We're in North America. Most of it comes from uh, South Africa and Russia, so there are very few platinum group metal deposits in Canada. And your lithium project, can you give us a bit of an overview? Yeah, we have five just out of Winnipeg. Uh, we're just about 100 kilometers out, and uh, last year we started the division. Uh, we own five projects within a company called Canada Lithium Development and uh, two of them are at the drill stage. So we'll be drilling at least two this year and we think we'll get maybe two more to the drill stage before the end of the season. Well, we at Investor Intel continue to take a bullish stand on lithium. And I know there's a lot of different opinions on this topic out there. You've been in the industry for a while and you're an expert. Can you tell us what you think about the lithium market? Well, tremendous demand and it's really only been about a year that the juniors have had the money to go and explore and find new deposits. So I, I think we're in good shape for a long time to come with lithium. And your projects, the competitive nature of your lithium projects? They're near one of the mines in Canada that has produced it, uh, all around it, and uh, we can drive to it. We're out of Winnipeg, about 100 kilometers. I've got a great geologist who knows the, that sector that he spent 11 years actually is uh, the man who uh, did the exploration for the mine beside us. So we've got a good, uh, good, very good team on both sides, both the platinum group metals and the uh, lithium. Now you uh, put out a lot of news since the new year, including your exploration plans. Can you tell us what kind of timelines we should be looking forward to in say the next two quarters? Well, a lot of drilling for the platinum group metals division and uh, we're doing a big round of geophysics to outline more targets. We've got nine different targets in the northern portion of the property and on the lithium side we are going to be uh, drilling there at least two of the four of the five projects we have and we hope to get at least two more of them to the drill stage. Well, Harry, as always, it's a pleasure to see you. Thank you very much for having us.